You want to maintain your own lawnmower? Well, here's how. This is what you should do every spring before you start mowing with your lawnmower. You want to change your oil every spring. So, to change your oil on most lawnmowers, they'll usually be on one side of the engine or another. There'll be a spigot that comes out with a plug in it. So, you just got to remove the plug and drain your oil. You want to also check your spark plug every year and check your air cleaner. So to remove your spark plug, you got to pull the cap or boot off of it, move it out of the way. Then what you're going to need is a spark plug socket. Most lawnmowers have a 5 8 inch spark plug. Some have a 13 16 So you push the socket on there and you just take it loose. And then once it's loose, you can just take and unthread it by hand. This spark plug isn't too bad. They're supposed to have a tannish, brownish color if they're all black. Or if there's a lot of stuff built up down inside here around the white or piece down in the middle there, you want to replace your spark plug. So this spark plug's good. And when you retighten your spark plug, you just put your hand here on the ratchet. Don't go all the way out to the end of the ratchet. Just give it a good turn. A little bit, you'll feel a fair amount of pressure, and then it's in there good and tight. You don't want to over tighten them. On an engine like this, since this one's a V twin, which means it has two cylinders, there's another spark plug just like that right on the other side. So you want to take and you want to check that one also. Now you need to check the air cleaner on your lawnmower, and this should be done multiple times during the year. Right, but on this one, you take this thing here, you pop it up, and pull it out, and then this cap will come off of here. Then you take and you just pull the air filter out. Some will have a piece that goes around them. It's like a felt type thing. And those, those you can clean and then you got to oil on this one. It's just a dry filter. So you see how there's dirt in there? You can take an air compressor and blow it out or you can just bang it out. And that will get a lot of the dirt out of it. It's not too bad. If it's really dark and filthy that there's lots of stuff way down deep inside of there, you want to replace your filter. Now that you have the filter clean, you want to go in here in the engine, and if there's any dirt in here, so like there's grass and junk in here, you want to take either a shot vac or just a vacuum cleaner, and you want to suck that out to get all that junk out of there so it doesn't get inside your engine. This lawnmower here actually does have a pre-cleaner air filter, and it's right here, and you just pull it out. See how that's all dirty? That gets most of the majority of the big stuff. And this is what you're going to want to take and you're going to want to wash it in cold water. Once you've washed it out and got it in as clean as you can, you want to take and either let it dry in the sun or you can just take and stick it in a rag and dry it. To dry it, you just take, shove it in a rag, and then you just squeeze it. Now it is dry, or as dry as it's going to be, so now you just got to oil it. All it takes is a little bit. You're just going to pour a little bit of the oil it. You put your engine on it. Then you're just going to take it and you're going to squeeze it all throughout the whole thing until the whole thing is soaked with a little bit of oil. Once it's soaked, as long as it isn't that you squeeze it and you have oil dripping out, you can just take and put it back in your engine. Another item of maintenance you can do, check your battery terminals and make sure they're not corroded. If they're corroded, there'll be a blue, like fuzzy stuff there, kind of like styrofoam around it. So these ones are good and clean. If you do have junk on there, you want to take a wire brush and clean it. Something else you can do to clean this off, because you get grass and dirt and junk in here. Make sure everything on your engine is closed, like your air cleaner and your dipstick. Then you can just take an air compressor and you blow everything off. If you ain't got an air compressor, you could vacuum it off. The only other piece of maintenance that you need to do on a lawnmower is look at your fuel filter. It'll be an inline fuel filter on the side of the engine usually. And these, it depends on how much you use your lawnmower. But all you do is you look down in here. You can't see it too well here with the camera, but you'll just look and if there's dirt in there or if your filter in here looks really weird, like this here, this is perfectly clean and good. It'll be fine. But these, depending on how much you use it, if you're not using it a lot and just doing a 
you're just mowing in town, all you're going to need is to replace it maybe every five years or so. But if you're out in the country and you have a bigger lawn, it'll be every one to two years usually. It all depends on the amount you use it. Now that your oil is drained and it's just dripping once in a every while like it is now, you just take your plug and thread it back into the engine. Once you have it in there finger tight, you want to take your wrench, put your wrench on there. Just hold up real close on your wrench if you're using a big adjustable wrench. You don't have to tighten these super tight. You just want to tighten it so that when it gets there, that it's not that you can't turn it no more, it's just that there's a fair amount of force on it and you're grabbing it right up here on the front of the wrench. Otherwise you'll wreck your drain plug. Now you need to replace your oil filter. So you'll need to get yourself an oil filter wrench. You're just going to take and you're going to put it on there and you're going to get it loose and you just screw this off. And oil is going to drip all over off of there but it doesn't make too big of a mess because there's not a lot of oil in there. You unscrew it, take it off. Now you want to put on your new oil filter. A lot of them now, they put this little cover on here to keep the inside of it clean. And when you're ready to use it, you just take that off of there. Now a trick, when you put on a new oil filter to make this seal on here, seal up a good so it doesn't leak oil, take, dab your finger in the oil. You can use new oil or the used oil, it doesn't make much difference. You want to take it, and you rub it right around here. It lubricates this up so that it'll seal good. You want to take and you're going to want to clean this up here first so that you don't have oil sitting there so you know if it leaks later. So just take and wipe it all off. Now take your new filter. Don't bang it on anything so that you'll get dirt in it. And carefully just put it on there. And you want to make sure you're not cross threading it. It'll spin on real easy. See it just sits there and it'll spin. Now it's tightening up. You want to tighten it as much as you can by hand which is pretty tight. Then you want to take your oil filter wrench here. You don't tighten this real tight. The max you want to turn it after you got it tight by hand is a three quarter turn, but you don't even need that. because These tighten on here really good. They'll seal up real well because of that seal. Now you want to take, pull out your dipstick, set it off to the side. You're going to take your oil if you look in your owner's manual, you'll be able to find out what type of oil your engine takes. And you just want to carefully take and pour it in here. You don't want to pour too much in. You have to kind of guesstimate what the amount you want to put in it compared to the amount that came out so that you don't overfill it. And once you think you got in a fair amount, you don't want to put too much in. You just got to take and stick your dipstick in and keep checking it until you get it full enough. The correct way to check your oil is... You take, you stick your dipstick on here, but you don't thread it on. If you ever get a reading on here where it just goes way above the full mark and like way up on the dipstick to like way up here, or someplace just extremely high, it's not because you added too much oil unless you added a lot, it's just because that oil has to drain down into the engine first before you can check it. Now that you have the oil added, you have to take and you want to start up the engine and let it run for about maybe 20 seconds so that it can fill your oil filter up full of oil. Then you want to take, shut it off, and check your oil, and then fill it back up to full. Then you'll be good to go. Power deck, you want to check it to see how dirty it is. Like this one, there's a lot of junk built up under here. And you want to take, and you can use a scraper to clean it out from underneath there. Just Stick your hand up underneath here, lay down and clean it out, or you can jack it up and put the lawnmower on a jack stand. If you do that, make sure you block the back wheels so it can't roll or set the parking brake. Otherwise, you can just take a water hose with a sprayer nozzle on the end of it and go underneath there, and then it'll get a lot of that off of there too by just spraying it. The only tools that you need to do this job, a ratchet with a spark plug socket, a oil filter wrencher, and you can either use just regular wrenches or you can use an adjustable wrench and that's all you need to do this. Any of the tools and the parts that you need for this you can just buy at your local hardware store.